Hours yelled out the mother of Lesandro Guzman Feliz as some of the suspects accused in the stabbing death of her 15 year old son, nicknamed Junior, are led out of Bronx Court. She was overwhelmed with anger and grief. They kill my son. They kill a baby. They kill a 15 year old. They did not kill a man, and a gun member, or not. They kill a good boy. Two by two, a dozen suspects entered their pleas. <laughs> Not guilty. Now there are 12 accused, all pleading not guilty to charges of murder, manslaughter, conspiracy, gang assault, and weapons possession. Five of them also indicted on first degree murder, which includes torture. If convicted, they could face life sentences without parole. This was an intra gang conflict where the defendants allegedly plotted to attack an upstart set of the Trinitarios and allegedly committed a crime that has shocked people everywhere for its brutality. The NYPD says the suspects wrongly targeted Guzman Feliz at a Bronx deli. Police say Junior had no ties to gang activity and was an aspiring officer. They allegedly drove to the territory of the Sunset Group came upon Junior and chased him into a bodega. That's where surveillance video shows Junior tried to hide behind a counter to save his own life, but the gang members dragged him out of the store and stabbed him repeatedly with a machete. He tried to run to St. Barnabas Hospital a block away, but collapsed outside the emergency room and died. I've got to tell you, I've been a cop for almost 36 years now. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen. And I know we do justice for Junior. As the family left court, they were greeted by supporters, calling for all men involved to be put behind bars. I need all of you. I want you to come. Please don't leave me alone. Police tell us the public helped crack the case with thousands of tips, and they want people to know there's a witness protection program set up for anyone willing to testify in court. In the Grand Concourse section of the Bronx, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.